Hello, my name is Dr. Patricia Keegan. I'm the Chief Medical Officer for Top Alliance Biosciences, the U.S. subsidiary for Junshi Biosciences in Shanghai. And I'm very happy to be able to uh, address today uh, the abstract on behalf of my colleagues, Dr. Gao and others in China, regarding the abstract evaluating optimal neoadjuvant chemotherapy for patients with gastric cancer uh, stages, uh, clinical stages two and three are node positive uh, in combination with torpalumab. The purpose of this trial was to evaluate not only the addition, the safety of the addition of torpalumab to flock chemotherapy, but to further evaluate whether dose intensification or deintensification would be appropriate treatment strategies in this setting and whether the optimal chemotherapy was dependent upon the patient's pd one status. In this study of 70 patients, the patients were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to traditional flock chemotherapy every two weeks for a total of four cycles in combination with torpalumab, 240 milligrams every two weeks, and then underwent surgical resection, or to three cycles of flock chemotherapy administered at the traditional doses, but in an every three week or every 21 day schedule in combination with torpalumab, 240 milligrams every three weeks. The trial demonstrated that the um, pathologic complete response rate was slightly higher than in historical controls at approximately 25% and was similar in the every two week regimen and in the every three week regimen. However, the um, pathologic complete response rates were slightly different depending upon a patient's PDL1 status. Among patients in arm A, the pathologic complete response rate in, in patients who were PDL1 negative was higher than among those that were PDL1 uh, negative and received in the every three week regimen, indicating that the traditional chemotherapy regimen dose intensification was necessary uh, for patients who were PDL1 negative. In contrast, patients who were PDL1 positive exhibited a substantially higher pathologic complete response rate while receiving a, a less intensive every three week flat regimen as compared to the traditional regimen. Given the patients in arm A experienced greater hematologic toxicity and were more likely to have dose delays and were less likely to be able to complete uh, all planned uh, neoadjuvant therapy. Approximately a third were able to complete planned neoadjuvant therapy as compared to 10% in the uh, de-intensified or every three-week regimen. Uh, it is clear that a less intensive therapy may be more appropriate in patients receiving flat chemotherapy plus torpalumab if they are pdl one positive tumors. In addition, um, there was uh, evidence, there is, there is biomarker evidence obtained in this study that suggests the reason that this might be the case. Patients had higher T cell subsets including those most likely to be indicators for tumor-specific T-cell subsets in the every three-week regimen arm or the de-intensified arm. Thus, there's a, a plausible uh, reason for patients in that arm performing, more, performing better, and it would suggest that there should be further evaluation of the optimal therapy and the optimal amount of chemotherapy in patients with pd one positive tumors. This is the intent of the authors in future studies. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.